Hello, welcome to the series Java for Beginners. Let's talk about what you're going to learn in this course. First, all the knowledge you will need to get started as a Java programmer. Also, tips on common errors for beginners and how to resolve them. If you're using this to help you in a course, you'll learn ways to maximize your test taking strategies. Advanced topics are presented in a visual format so you can see behind the scenes what the computer is doing with your code. Finally, make sure to subscribe to get all the latest content. Now, let's write our first Java program. Here I'm using the JGRASP IDE. You can use whatever one you want, but for instructions on how to install JGRASP, check the video description. To begin with, we must declare a class. Every program in Java must have at least one class. To do so, we'll type on the first line, public, class, and then the name of our class. In Java, classes' names are written in Pascal case. That means all words are run together, and the first letter of every word is capitalized. I'm going to call my class my first program. Our class name must match our file name exactly, except our file name will have .java at the end. Otherwise, the program's not going to build. Next, we have to define for the computer where the class begins and ends. We do that with curly brackets. We'll start with an opening curly bracket and close with an closing curly bracket. Inside our class, we need methods. Every program must have at least one main method. That tells the computer where to start when we run the class. A main method must be written exactly like this. Public, static, void, main, open parentheses, string with a capital S, open close square brackets, ARGS, close parentheses. Next, we need to define where our main method begins and ends. So we do it that with curly brackets again. Our main method begins after this curly bracket and ends after that curly bracket. An important rule with curly brackets is when we open one, everything after that is indented one more line. When we close one, everything after that is indented one less line. The next command we're going to learn is the system out print line. What that'll do is let us output something to our console down here. So we have system with a capital S, period, O-U-T, dot period, pre-R-I-N-T, L-N. And then we have an open close parentheses. Inside here is the information or the data we want to go to the console. In this case, we're going to use something called a string literal. A string literal is some very specific text or numbers. So we're going to open and close parentheses. That lets the computer know that there's going to be a string literal inside here. And my message is going to be hello world. We must end this line with a semicolon. Certain lines of code must end with a semicolon, like system out print lines. Other ones, like public static void main or the class name, do not end with a semicolon. We have an open and close bracket to define where the main method or the class begins and ends. Let's check if we did everything right. What we're going to do is we're going to go to build and compile. This might look different if you're using a different IDE, but it'll be the exact same concept. What this does is checks the program for errors and converts it to bytecode, which the computer can run. This didn't give us any errors. That means as far as it can tell, we didn't make any mistakes. Now, this is ready to be run. So I'm going to go to build, run, and our program ran and outputted hello world to our console. Before continuing, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. For the next video in the series, click on the video link in the lower left hand corner of the screen. And to see the entire series with all the topics, click on the playlist link in the lower right hand corner of the screen.